What's goody loves? I'm starting off with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Flat White. We're going to use a fluffy brush to blend this all over our eyelids and make sure that our lids are nice and smooth for this eyeshadow that we'll be applying today. Using a white or light base for our eyeshadows really allow the pigment in the eyeshadows to show, so make sure that you're always priming with a white or light base. First, we'll be going into Dark Magic out of the Exotic Pop Palette. If you watch my biggest palette in the world tutorial, then you already know about this palette. And if you haven't, make sure you go check that out. But anyway, I'm applying this eyeshadow into my crease and using windshield wiper motions, kind of back and forth motions to focus in that area. As you can see, I'm using a really small brush and just blending it in that area and then I'm curving it once I get to the end of my eye. Next, I'm going into this burgundy shade by the name of Plum and I'm applying that right above the black, not too high up. As you can see, I'm focusing everything towards each other, making that sure they're really close to one another. And you just want to continue to blend them into each other using the same, the same one show wiper motions that we were using before. And then I'm going into crimson, which is that red shade. And I'm applying this red shade above plum and blending it out just a little bit. Um, as you can see, I'm gradually getting lighter and lighter. And I did tap into the Morphe 350 palette just to type into fire, which is that red shade, and give this a darker red looking. I want it to be a little brighter than what Crimson was giving me. And then I'm going in with Melanated Me Beauty Carpe VM Matte Lipstick. This is a burgundy shade by a black owned business. They sent me some products and I will be using their products throughout this video. No, this is not a sponsorship. I just wanted to try the products because they sent it to me. So why wouldn't I use it? But yeah, I put that lipstick in my crease to give me a more burgundy shade because I was really going for like a burgundy look here. Um, I really want the burgundy to be like the main concept in this look. So when using matte lipsticks, you can either wait till it dries a little bit and blend it out because it might be a little bit easier, but I blended it both times when I was wet and when it was dry. So yeah, I really blend out that lipstick and make sure it was nice and blended. And then I went in with Plum, which is the burgundy shade I was using before I went in with the lipstick and I set in that lipstick so that it wouldn't move or smear or go anywhere. And if you're looking for nice eyeshadows, matte lipsticks are also great to do eyeshadows and eyeliners with. So that's a little tip in case you're looking for nice eyeliners or eyeshadow bases, etc, etc. My lipsticks are bomb for that. Um, so tell people I put you on, alright? Okay, period. <laughs> and then I'm going back in with Dark Magic, which is just black. And I'm just darkening it because it kind of faded with all the blending. And then I'm going into the Juvia's Place Zulu palette. And I'm applying that orange shade on the end of um, the red shade that we had applied and I'm just blending it out so as you can see again I'm gradually getting lighter I started off with black we went into burgundy red and now we're into orange and we're just gonna blend that out and make sure that it's nice and seamless so as you can tell, all my brushes are really detailed and focused on the specific area that I'm blending in. I recommend using brushes like that because they really help. I didn't know much about brushes, so I used to use really fluffy brushes. But girl, get you some detailed brushes because it will change your life. And now I'm just adding um, more orange after I added some red in my crease. And then I'm going into yellow. And I'm going to apply yellow above the orange and really blend that out. Out. I'm using a really light hand for this as you can see I am mostly patting but I am like dragging lightly the brush across and once I'm done adding the yellow I'm gonna go back in with orange and red and burgundy I feel like after you're done adding a shade you should go back and touch up the other shades and that's basically what I was doing and then going back in with my same LA girl flat white base I'm going to cut my crease as you can see and make sure that you cut your crease above your actual crease once you have cut your crease you want to pat down the concealer so that it's not bumpy or lumpy but nice and smooth as you can see here you see it's nice and smooth so that when you apply your shadows they apply smoothly i'm going back into the juvia's place palette and i'm applying that all over my eyelids I love this yellow. It's my favorite color. I love yellow, orange, and blue. So if you're ever looking to buy me a gift, those are the colors I like. Just, you know, throwing it out there in case anyone thinking about buying me something or whatnot. You feel me? You feel me? But yeah, I'm just going to pack this yellow all over my eyelids until 
it is nice and pigmented. Um, it takes a while. Honestly, this is the most repetitive and annoying process. I honestly hate it, but the eyeshadow looks to be coming out bomb. So, girl, <laughs> if this is what it takes. This is what I'm going to have to do. But, yeah. Um, and the Juvia's Place eyeshadows tend, tend to have a lot of fall off. So, my face had all this glitter and stuff on it. But I went back into Dark Magic to kind of curve the side of my um, yellow eyeshadow to do the, the curve, you know. In the beginning, when I started curving it, that was why. It was kind of like to make all the eyeshadow go in a certain way. So, when I was ready to curve it at the end... It would all be positioned and ready for me. You feel me? You feel me? I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say, but um, you'll see it. And then I went back in the burgundy and kind of blend out the black. Because I didn't want the black to be too harsh and kind of like mess up the look. So I went back in the burgundy. That is the same brush I used to blend the liquid the liquid um, matte lipstick out. Um, I didn't apply any extra eyeshadow on it. I just used whatever was on the brush and went in with it. And now I'm going in with the black dark magic eyeshadow and I'm just filling in the corners and blending everything in. Going in with this Revlon eyeliner, I'm lining my lash line and connecting it to the black um crease the black part of our crease so you're just going to stop right there where you enter the black eyeshadow after you're done lining your waterline as you can see i kind of brought it up so that it can curve as well and you're going to connect both of them together So I'm taking Dark Magic and I'm just setting the eyeliner, the Revlon eyeliner, as well as connecting it to the black that is in my eyeshadow. Make sure that everything is blended and connected. And then I went back into the Zulu palette and I applied that yellow on my lids, just touching up things basically. I felt like the black was getting onto yellow, so I had to touch it up. And then I'm going into the Exotic Pop palette again, and I'm tapping into that press on glitter by the name of Sparkle and applying that in my crease right above the yellow eyeshadow. It looks so nice and pretty. I just added a little glitter because I feel like glitter just, you know, it just tops everything off. And then I'm applying my lashes. These are the Queen Lashes from the We Ink Collection, and um, I'm highlighting my my brow bone using the um beauty powder gold by candy craze girl that was a mouthful oh my god oh my god <laughs> i felt like my mouth was running like a thousand miles a minute now we're done with our eyes for now and i'm moving on to the face i'm using the revlon prime plus primer and i'm applying this all over my face and rubbing it in and making sure that my face is nice and primed up for this makeup i'm about to put on it and then i'm using this black radiance illuminator and I will have the name and stuff on the screen because I don't know what it's called. Um, and then I'm just blending this in all over my face. I actually applied a little bit too much, but it didn't really mess up anything. So I was cool. I was cool with it. I was, I was good. But I was looking like a little tin man in this joint using this. Um, I don't know what this was. Um, but yeah. And then I'm using the Melanated Me Beauty foundation stick and it's in the shade dark coffee and i'm just applying this all over my face and then i'm gonna blend it in using my foundation brush I've never actually used a foundation stick. I always use like liquid foundation. So I was really excited to use this. And I feel like it was like a tint lighter than me. Like like a drop. Like a a nerd. Like the nerd's candy. Like that much. One of those lighter than me. Because I don't know. when Like the part you see how I'm blending on my forehead, right? It just felt like it was a little bit too light. It wasn't blending with my hairline. Um, but yeah, and then I'm going in with their other foundation stick because in my head, I thought it was a concealer stick, but do not mind me. Do not mind me. Um, but it definitely worked. This is in their shade Fawn, and I've applied that under my eyes, forehead, nose, cupid's bow, and um, you know what it is. Like, you know the areas. And I just blended that out. And actually, this foundation stick could be used as a concealer stick. It worked amazingly as a concealer that I didn't even know it was a foundation stick. 
I should have read it before I used it, but I was just like, oh, this is too light. Like, I can't use it as anything but as concealer. So I just used it because I thought it was concealer. But anyway, now I'm just using my brush to blend it out. And yeah, but this is a really nice concealer shade, even though it was a foundation. But yeah, maybe I can use it on like one of my clients or something um, as a foundation shade. But this is really pretty. And I just really like how it was all blended out. Um, it did start creasing after I said it, though. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. But oh excuse me i didn't like that but i guess it makes sense now since it's a foundation and not a concealer um but yeah i don't really know how to use a foundation or concealer stick i thought you just use it the way you use like a regular foundation concealer stick but you might have to like double set it or like let it sit or set or something because i don't know why my under eyes was creasing like it looks so perfect here but after i set it and everything like it did crease a little bit like afterwards like maybe like 30 or 40 minutes later it started creasing and i was like mm -mm, i don't like that i don't like that i don't like that but these products are so creamy i'm not gonna lie they were so creamy and smooth i was like yes and then i'm going with my airspun translucent powder and i'm just setting my under eyes my forehead my nose my chin my cupid's bow um then i'm going to set under my contour you know all the areas i normally set you know these parts get repetitive as well because i feel like i just say this part in every video because my routine really doesn't change like the products might change but the routine really doesn't change and then i'm going in with the other girl truffle truffle uh, yeah this is truffle and i'm going to contour contour so i got my nose my contour lines my forehead and under my chin and i'm just using my same foundation blush blush brush learn how to speak olivia brush and blending out my contour the contour it looks so beautiful it kind of brought some warmth into my face so that it didn't look like this foundation was a nerd lighter than me so i liked it it did what it was supposed to do if you know what i mean And to dust off this Airspun Translucent Powder, I'm tapping into the Black Radiance um, True Complexion Palette. And I am dusting off this powder using their sculpting shade. I use this as a foundation shade, so if you um, as a foundation powder. So if you already have a foundation powder, you can just use that instead of using this. But this is the perfect foundation powder for me because it really just, you know, gets rid of that excess powder and brings some warmth back into my face. You feel me? Tapping into the contour shade in the same palette, I'm using their contour shade to set in my contour. Now that brush was a little too big to blend my nose contour out, so I got a smaller brush and I just set in my nose contour, blended it out makes you look nice and chiseled and then i went into the zulu palette and i tapped into the pink shade and used that as a blush i've been loving that lately like this pink is perfect for a blush and yes i just packed that onto my cheeks add a little bit to your nose because i like doing that um and yeah that's it that's all now if you're an og subby then you already know what this is and if you pay attention to the beginning of the video, you know that I use this as my brow highlight. So I guess, I guess everybody knows what this is, I guess. <laughs> but I love this highlight. This is the Candy Craze Highlight in Burby Powder Gold. I've been using it for a while now. I think for like a year. Nope, maybe two years. Yep, two years I've been using this and it's so bomb. And now I'm going in with the Revlon um, Black Eyeliner. I have all the titles and names on the screen. And then I'm tapping back into Plum and I'm blending that out on my bottom um, waterline. And yeah, I'm just applying that in my under eye. Tapping into um, 
crimson i'm applying that right under plum tapping into orange as well as yellow i'm applying both of them under there too in reverse basically and then i'm tapping into sparkle and i'm adding that on my bottom inner corner so we just reversed everything and this is the urban decay heavy metals palette i just tapped into twisted and added that into my inner corner to pop give it a little pop give it a little shimmer and then I'm spraying my face using the Mario Badasco. I'm going to soak my face in it. Don't be stingy with the spray, okay? Don't be stingy with the spray. And then you want to pat that in using your beauty blender or brush or whatever. And then I'm going in with the Ilia Mascara. And I'm just going to apply mascara on my eyelash. Girl, I almost poked my eye out using that. And then I'm going back into Carpe VM by Melodated Me Beauty. And I'm going to apply that on my lips. I'm going to actually use this as a liner at first because I was going to, I was thinking about what I wanted to do with my lips as I was applying it. So, yeah. I just start off by lining my lips because I didn't know what I wanted to do yet. And then I'm going in with Adorbs by Melanated Me Beauty. And I'm applying that in the center of my lips to give this kind of ombre look to it. Instead of it just being a burgundy lip, I want to go, you know, ombre, spice it up a little bit. Uh, and Absorbs is like such the perfect nude matte lipstick. I can't wait to use it by itself. But yes, girl. And I just kept applying more because I felt like the burgundy was washing it out and you couldn't really see it. And this is the final look. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And as always, remember to be beautiful and love yourself.